What is the data on COVID-19 telling us right now? Well, let's start with the big picture. This is showing you cases across the UK, and you can probably see, look, very big uh, spike around the winter, and then it's coming down to really quite low levels uh, at the moment. But I want to focus specifically on variants, and in this case, the growth profile of variants. So these lines showing you how fast they grew from the moment where they passed 10 cases, just so we can compare the, the shape of these lines. There's the Kent variant, up very quickly uh, indeed. That was, of course, around uh, December. And then you've got this, the uh, Indian variant, six, uh, B1.617.2. Uh, and just look, I'll zoom in and you can probably see that it's up actually even faster than the Kemp variant was at this comparable point, up to just under 7,000 cases uh, as of a few days ago. Now, that matters because, of course, there's a lot of talk recently, what with the Dominic Cummings uh, testimony, about whether we didn't move fast enough when it came to the Kemp variant. So let's just look at some of those, that timeline for the Kemp variant, uh, what we knew when. Uh, on the 19th of December, the Prime Minister, that's when he gave his press conference uh, about the variant, cancelling Christmas, uh, in a sense. And then it was on the 6th of January that England England went into its third lockdown. And by that stage, look at that line, by that stage, you're up to 22,500 cases. So very advanced, a lot of cases. Uh, and if I bring on the Indian variant again, you can see we are much earlier than we were any of those points. So some people are asking whether we need to act earlier as well to try and prevent the same thing happening all over again. But here's the flip side, OK? Have a look at this. We'll go back to that first chart at the start, showing you the big picture of cases uh, around the UK. Now I'm going to add on uh, the Kent variant uh, and, indeed, the Indian variant. And bear in mind, these are on different axes. Those black lines aren't going up quite as much uh, as the white lines, but just to show you when this was happening and how fast they were growing. And there's something you've probably spotted already. Look, when the Kent variant was growing, Cases were very high, very high across the UK, whereas right now, with the Indian variant, it's certainly growing. But cases across the UK are much, much lower. That really matters. And it's that balancing act between those two things. Do we act earlier or do we bear in mind that the situation's quite different this time around? That's what's going to be occupying the minds of public health officials in the coming weeks.